good family it's your boy dg guy hustle man and we back with a whole lot of hustling yeah man so right now we are on the back roads we are on the way to sacramento go pick up this load and today we got a long one y'all a real long one we going uh 1800 miles sacramento ca to minnesota um, I got to look at the Raycon again to see exactly what city in Sac I mean in Minnesota it is But uh, that's the lick for the day y'all. That's the move man Most definitely you already know ride with me man. Let's see how it go. You feel me our first Super super long one. You know what I mean? We gonna see man. It's gonna be a test to see if I got it in me to to you know that endurance to keep it straight for a minute man but um, we most definitely gonna tap back in in a second when we get to the load, uh, get picked up and loaded up, and we'll see what we bring in, how many pounds and all that good stuff. So uh, let's get it, let's go, baby. Minnesota. Homies hooked us up, loaded us up quick. We in and know, man. All right, we have to take a picture of the BOLs real quick. It's two BOLs for each pallet. One for each pallet, excuse me. One BOL for each pallet. Uh, yeah, man. So we in Sacramento, California. And we about to head out, man, Minnesota. Let's go, baby. Frisco weather right there. I could do 52, but I don't know. 
Uh, we gonna see how it go, man. I'm gonna grab me something to eat. I got about 55 minutes to get to the food spot. And uh, yeah, man, I'm gonna eat. See where a rest stop at or something, or I don't know. See what I do. I might pull up on the Wally World. Utah, I don't, I don't know about Utah though. I don't know if it's good for a brother out here. You know what I mean? I don't, man, it's crazy. All these northern states I'm driving through right now, man. I don't, you know what I mean? I ain't never really, I ain't never really been out of Cali. But I mean, yeah, I've been out of Cali. You know what I mean? On planes, but I ain't never really drove through. You know what I mean? States I'm driving through them. Uh, besides, you know, Nevada, Arizona, Cali, but. As far as me pushing through these upper northern states how I'm pushing right now, yeah, man, I don't know. So, we'll see what it do, though. Uh, I'll get back at y'all in a hot-ass second. Let's get through uh, most of Utah. Let's see what we can do. Let's go, baby. <laughs> downtown Utah or excuse me downtown Salt Lake City I ain't gonna lie man that was that was beautiful downtown Salt Lake City now we on this big road getting it in man almost to Wyoming like I said probably stop see if I can holla at Kanye or something sleep in one of them caves or something he got going on but uh yeah man next morning day two let me see let's see if i can show y'all the map real quick show y'all the progress so we got a uh, 17 hours 29 minutes 1196 miles left started off in sacramento with like almost 1900 miles it was like 1860 or 1870 or something like that so we didn't we didn't ran through some miles for Shelly already. We ripping and running, y'all. Let's get it, let's go. Damn, y'all, for me to be a California guy, man, I ain't gonna lie. Feel like I'm lightweight on another planet, man. I ain't never seen no shit like this. I wish I would have caught it a little bit further back, man. The whole scenery was crazy. Yeah, man. Time for me to start getting out more, for real, for real. Feel like I'm on another damn planet. Wyoming, Wyoming. Sound heck of weird saying that. Wyoming, Wyoming, Wyoming. Here, baby Kanye, where you at, baby? I done made it. Thirty-six degrees out here, y'all. Big cold, shaking in my boots.
Alabama. Some of my bitches. In the hood, in Atlanta. Ah. ATL room tour, let's go y'all. Big Atlanta. Bathroom. A nice shower. A nice fat shower. A shower. Actually, pretty damn big. I ain't gonna lie. Nice bathroom, though. A little closet area. Safe, iron. Ironing board. Yes, sir. I need that laundry bag, too. Seating, little, little couch area. Little uh, living area right there. Of course, you know, got the office area. Flat screen. Nice bed. A nice room man i ain't gonna lie y'all so we in atl for the night man uh we just came from south carolina uh dropped off a low picked up dropped off south uh picked up south carolina dropped off out here in atlanta grabbed a room we picking up in atlanta in the morning dropping off to texas uh so yeah man that's where we at for the night huge room huge huge room so uh yeah, fridge down there, coffee maker. ATL, it's looking beautiful, man. Shout out to ATL. Got some well needed rest last night. Man, comfortable bed. As y'all can see, it's toe up. We getting it together though. Gonna get out of here, man. Uh, we got a pickup about 20 minutes from here from the hotel I stayed at. Um, that low will be going to Texas, Galveston, Texas. Excuse me, Galveston, Texas. Um, that'll need to be dropped off on uh, Monday morning, 8 a.m. My dispatcher said he's gonna try to double me up. So once I load up um, with the Texas load, he gonna try to get me another one. Hopefully going somewhere uh, in the same vicinity, or if not on the way, then uh, yeah, man, we can generate some more money. Uh, but yeah, it was a good night, man. For sure, we slept good. Uh, we done been hitting it all, man. We done been really crossing state lines. And my baby, man, you know, she right there, you know what I mean? We keep an eye on her when we at these hotels, make sure she on point, you know what I mean? Gotta make sure she good. Uh, now, I went with this hotel specifically. I don't know if y'all can see it got the gate on the outer part back there by those two uh, buses right there. But yeah, this whole property got a gate around it, got a gate in the front. Um, security, well, state troopers was out there last night, which is cool. Um, yeah, man, I read reviews on a lot of the hotels around here, and everybody, you know, there's a few comments, reviews saying that, you know, that vehicles got broke in and windows busted. 
um, even if things weren't taken, the windows busted, probably just ran through the car. Um, so yeah, man, we got to protect the investment, man. We got to make sure the van good. So uh, we paid a little bit more for this room than we would have liked to, but you know, we was worried about my safety and the van safety. So sometimes you got to do that if you're in certain cities. And the ATL, boy, y'all turned up out here. I ain't gonna lie. Y'all Oakland on steroids out here for sure. <laughs> you know, me being a brother from the Bay. Uh, yeah, man. Y'all turned up out here in the A for sure. But it's much love, man. It's much love. You know, we come some, from the jungle, so we can survive anywhere, most definitely. But uh, yeah, y'all, we're gonna get to it, man. We're gonna get downstairs to the van, get it loaded up get my bags in there um probably go gas up get some gas treatment gas up real quick yeah man we done made it down to the van let's start it up get this g thing cracking man Always fire with no problem. Putting miles on my thing. Kind of clean. Changing lane. Nice little Hemi. College Park right now, man. Uh, in the hood. ATL. Big College Park. Uh, have to find us a decent spot, though, to stay. To remain safe out here. As a California boy. Yeah, close to the door as possible. It's cool, bro. Uh, that's lovely. Yeah, that's perfect. Save me a little sleeping room in there. <laughs> I'm out here in Texas right now. I'm about 30 minutes away from Dallas uh, in a small little suburb town called Terrell. Uh, I've been out here for the weekend pretty much. I have bought a load from South Carolina, no, excuse me, from Atlanta um, that was due the very next morning. So I picked up the load in Atlanta at 3 p.m. Um, it was due out here in Texas in uh, Irvington, excuse me, in Irving, Texas. Uh, at nine o'clock the next morning so from you figure 3 p.m atlanta to 9 a.m texas time i gained an hour back because you know coming back this way uh different time zone so you kind of get that hour back but man i made my first mistake almost huge mistake as a sprinter van driver man it it, it was crazy man so uh man it started off um I went from South Carolina, brought a load from South Carolina to Atlanta. So uh, that same day that I was dropping off the load in Atlanta, my dispatcher hit me like, hey man, I got one for you in the morning going from uh, Atlanta to Galveston, Texas, right? So he said, uh, you know, the drop off is Monday morning. You pick it up tomorrow morning. You'll have the whole weekend to get it there and drop it off. Drop off Monday morning, 8 a.m. I'm like, cool. So man, I get to the pickup in Atlanta. Uh, it's some carpets, right? It's rolled up carpets, brand new carpets. Uh, so we thinking it's one. The dispatcher thought it was one carpet. I thought it was one. Come to find out it's a whole pallet full of rolled up carpets and uh, and like this uh, pretty much like cardboard material uh, to where they put the protection on the carpets, you know what I mean? And put the put the carpets inside these, uh, these cardboard cases kind of like that are rolls. So uh, man, I get there, get to the pickup, uh dude tell me he like hey man yeah you know we we had the wrong order we thought this one was for you 
give us about 30 minutes we're gonna package up these carpets and get them on the pallet and uh we'll be out to load you up so i'm like all right man i ain't too bad 30 minutes you know what i mean for y'all to load me up i can chill out here got the ac on or whatever i'm chilling in the van you know waiting on them so uh i hear the forklift coming down the ramp i get out the van of course go check it out now mind you as he coming down the ramp on the forklift with the load man it's the longest pallet i ever seen right and it's really like a long pallet so i'm looking at it i'm looking at the load the load is kind of white lightweight hanging off the pallet already like you know what i mean this pallet is already long and a piece of the load is already hanging off so i'm looking i'm already telling myself like man this ain't gonna fit in my van bro i'm looking i'm like nah this ain't gonna fit so me and dude we kind of look at each other as we get down to my van and i tell him that i'm like yeah man i don't know man this one look kind of long i don't think this gonna fit so you know he move forward we're trying to get it in the van he uh he loads it in right he pushes it all the way back to my partition um and yeah man it's sticking out the van so i'm like man come on bro been in atlanta for a night right i stayed in a room in atlanta for the night um I'm like, man, bro, I'm I'm trying to get up out of Atlanta, man, and trying to get back towards West, you feel me? Trying to get back to the West, trying to get as close to Cali as I can, right? So, man, I'm looking, I'm like, damn, man, this ain't gonna work. Excuse my French. I'm like, this ain't gonna work, man. So, uh, me and dude, he like, yeah, bro, it's a wrap. So, he called his boss, the boss told him to unload it. I called my dispatcher like, yeah, bro, it's a wrap, bro. So, uh, he tells me, he calls me back like, yeah, man, like I messed up on the dimensions on this one. So I don't know if he had another driver with a longer van maybe, and he got our dimensions mixed up and he, he, you know, he booked this load for me, but maybe it should have been for another van. So I don't know how that went. I don't know how it worked. I don't know why it happened, but whatever. This is his first time actually booking me a load to where it didn't fit, right? So I'm like, dang, man. So I'm sitting there. I call my other company, hit them up. Let's see if they got something leaving out of Atlanta. Um, they hit me. We we went in for a load. So we uh we bid it on one load, didn't get it. Um, so they called me back. They started calling me back. Heck of much. They called me back like two more times that we was trying to get a load. Um, got outbid it, I'm guessing, you know. Um so then my my original dispatcher who got me to atlanta he hit me he like man i got one for you so it's three hours later right after that first load didn't fit so it's three hours later he like bro i got one for you he, i got one for you it's going to texas so i'm like cool man so the good thing about this one it was going to irving texas right from atlanta so it's like a maybe 11 hour drive but me and my mind, I'm still on that first load thinking it has to be dropped Monday morning, right? So I'm just automatically thinking like, cool, man, I got this load. Send me the Raycon, everything. I was eight minutes away from the pickup, so I went to go pick up the load. It was at the uh, Frito-Lay factory or Frito-Lay warehouse, should I say, in Atlanta, GA. Um, so I went to pick that up, man. And in my mind still, I had this thing need to be dropped off Monday morning, you feel me? man so i'm like man you know this this going this way uh i got an uncle that's in arkansas so i'm like man i'm gonna pull up on uh i ain't seen him in a minute you know go go see what he got going on man and number one i wanted to for surely like wash my clothes uh take a nice hot shower you know eat some good southern cooking you feel me and when i get to my uncle house it took me about seven hours to get to arkansas probably a little over seven hours i get there right at like one in the morning from atlanta uh we chopping it up to like three in the morning so i finally take it down at like three in the morning you know what i mean um man why at 6 a.m my phone started blowing up right i'm big silence and i'm like man somebody tripping man so something tell me man look at your phone and ring again it's my dispatcher. I'm like, what do you want, bro? It's Saturday morning. Like, I got Monday morning. Got till Monday morning to drop this load off. You feel me? Man, he like, bro, how close are you to the drop? I'm like, huh? He like, how close are you to the drop? I'm like, man, I'm knocked out, bro. I'm in Arkansas at my uncle house, knocked out. He like, no. He like, the drop is due at 9 a.m. this morning. Bro, I get up. I'm like, huh? He like, yeah, bro. He like to drop his due at 9 a.m. this morning. So I, I, bro, quickly get my phone. As I'm on the phone with him, I go through my text messages. I look at the Raycon. Sure enough, man, it say 
pick up 5.13, drop off 5.14, 9 a.m., between 8 and 9 a.m., right? I'm like, oh, no. I still got five hours, y'all, to get to the drop from Arkansas, man. Five hours. So he's like, man, how far are you away? I tell him, I'm like, bro, I'm like four and a half, five hours away, bro. He like, oh, no. I'm like, yeah, man. So, man, I, I quickly get up, man, throw on my clothes. Mind you, I didn't get this. Man, I didn't get to do nothing I wanted to do, bro. Wash my clothes. None of that, bro. So I'm like, damn. So, man, I get on the road, stop, grab some gas, grab some coffee, grab something to eat real quick. I pursue my trip on the, uh, on the way to Texas, right? So now the um, the actual brokerage company, they call me. They like, hey, man, you know, whoop -whoop. like, are you close to the drop? I'm like, nah, I tell them. I just say to them straight up, like, hey, man, I overslept, bro. Like, I was in Arkansas. I overslept. I'm on the way now, though. So dude tells me, like, oh, okay, well, you know, the drop, drop off is at 10. So I'm like, 10? Y'all telling me between 8 and 9 on the rate con. He's like, nah, bro, drop off at 10. So he like, what time are you going to arrive? So I tell him, man, I'm going to get there about 1045, right? Cool. I'm, I'm not more than an hour late. They can't talk about, oh, we're going to take this and take that from you out your rate and stuff because I'm not more than an hour late. So I'm like, cool, man. So he tell me, yeah, man, drop at 10. You get there around 1045, 1050. As long as you get there before 11, you cool. So I'm like, cool, man. I'm tired as hell, though, y'all. I'm talking about I had three hours of sleep. I did a straight drive from Atlanta to Arkansas. I'm whooped. I got three hours of sleep. So I'm like, man, right? So, um, man, I get to Texas, man. I drop off the load. I'm whooped, y'all. I'm talking about I'm whooped. I'm so tired. So after I drop off the load, I find a, a, a Love's gas station, man. I pull up on the Love's. I actually park for a few hours. It's hot as heck up in Texas, man. I'm talking about it was like 91 plus humidity. So it felt like it was about 102. So, man, I'm sitting in the front of the van. I can't go in the back. You know, it's too hot back there. So I'm sitting in the front. I'm kicked across my uh, my front seats. I got my neck pillow, you know what I mean? AC blasted, and I'm trying to catch some Z's for a few hours, you know what I mean? So after chilling for a few hours, man, it's Saturday. I'm already knowing. Excuse me, man, these trucks. I'm sitting right off here off a uh, freeway exit, should I say. Um, but man, so I'm, I'm like, man, I know I ain't finna catch no load going nowhere today. It's Saturday, you feel me? So I call both dispatchers i call us go i call my other dispatcher i'm like man if y'all could just find me something up out of here bro start heading towards west you feel me man big dry saturday was big dry didn't get nothing so i end up going to get a room um saturday night and sunday night so it's monday morning right now uh, i literally just left the room probably like about an hour ago so i grabbed me some breakfast sipping on some coffee right here i'm just chilling man um, waiting on the load to get out of Texas, Dallas. I'm like 30 minutes outside of Dallas, like I said, in Terrell. So, man, do not make that mistake, man. Make sure y'all pay attention. You might get a little confused because you might get a load. And, you know, you. I don't know, man. I don't know how I thought that the load that actually fit in my van, I don't know how I was still confused or, like, I must have just been tired, bro, thinking that that load was also due Monday morning, and it wasn't. It was due the very next morning at 9 a.m., um, so man, do not make that mistake. Make sure y'all for surely pay attention to your rate cons, uh, pay attention to your BOLs. And I had a correct date that you're supposed to drop. I don't know where my mind was thinking I had to drop that load Monday morning, man. But uh, that was my first big mistake, man. I, and I almost dropped the ball big, you know what I mean? So I'm glad that everything worked out. I'm glad that I'm still receiving full payment for my load from uh, Atlanta to Texas. So, man, make sure y'all do not, do not make that mistake, man. I most definitely have to share that with y'all. They gonna have you right in San Antonio, man. Yes, sir.
right, y'all, let's check out the load getting me home back to California, man. All these heavy, big loads I done did. <laughs> and yes, sir. Look like two rotors for a big rig. I ain't gonna lie. It's a uh, auto part. So yes, sir. The smallest load in America is getting us back to Cali, baby. And I ain't mad. Let's get it, let's go. We getting paid in a decent amount for this light load. We ain't gonna waste too much gas running this load or nothing because it's so light. So let's get it, let's go, baby. Yes, sir, we done made it, y'all. Big LA, man, down here at Huntington Beach. Probably right around the corner from the beach. Um, yeah, man, we probably gonna hit the beach for a second, man. Get us a little relaxation going down. Over here, like in a warehouse area, industrial area at the moment. But we gonna go ahead and get down here, probably find us something to eat, nice little something to sip on, and relax, man, till we get this load back to the house. Let's get it, let's go, baby. Let's go, y'all. We finally going home, man. We got uh, two boxes here, two equipment boxes, going to the Chase Center in San Francisco. Thinking of uh, some sort of equipment for the Warriors game. Um, got to be dropped off at 10 a.m. in the morning. Picked them up in LA, well, Anaheim at uh, at about 3.45, almost 4 p.m. So yeah, man, I'm super juiced about that. We finally on the way back home, man. It's been a long three and a half weeks, almost a month, man, that I've been gone on the road, running it up, man. So uh, it was a crazy situation too, basically for me to get home. Uh, I dropped off in LA yesterday um, I spent the night, woke up this morning. My dispatcher uh, got me a load. I probably sat around at McDonald's after getting breakfast and some coffee. I sat around at McDonald's probably for like a good two, almost three hours, man. Um, now I had Usco and I had my Facebook dispatcher looking for loads. Um, they actually came across the same load <laughs> and I had them both bid on it. Um, and uh it was crazy my facebook dispatcher actually won the load so i went to uh, about 40 minutes ago pick up the load i get there everything seemed cool show the dude you know the order number and everything they're like all right man uh we got to put together the order so you might have to wait for a little bit now mind you at this time I'm like all right man whatever i'm coming home you know it's a i think it was a drop to petaluma so from uh it was called uh industrial city out there in la and uh it was a drop to petaluma probably about 30 40 miles outside of san francisco probably not even that far outside of san francisco so uh man i'm waiting there hour and a half go by dude walk out the office um man mind you i've been back and forth from inside to outside i'm sitting in the van i'm sitting in the office Finally, I'm in there in the office, dude walk out like, yeah, bro. He was like, you know, this is kind of our mistake, but it never was confirmed um, through the broker um, that they had the order ready. So, uh, excuse me, dang, flies out here. Yeah, so, uh, man, they didn't have the order ready. It was uh, due for pickup to the next day. So tomorrow morning, well, tomorrow at 12 p.m. in the afternoon. So they like, yeah, man, you know, they, they might put you on it. I don't know. It was a previous driver supposed to get it. He might pop up. I don't know. It, it's just up to your dispatcher how they work that out with the broker. So I'm like, all right, man. So I'm sitting outside. Usco call me. They like, yeah, man, we got one from uh um from Anaheim to San Francisco. Uh, I'm thinking he said pickup is at 10 a.m. So I'm like, cool, I'm going to pick up this back in the morning and then I'm going to pick that one up too and I'm going to shoot those both out there, you feel me? Give me two loads and one, two birds with one stone. So I'm like, that's cool, you feel me? Perfect. Nah. <laughs> Bro, like, no, 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 no. He, like I said, uh, picking up right now, dropping off at 10 a.m. in the morning in San Francisco. So I'm like, oh, 
already then told my dispatcher that I'll pick up this load in the morning just so I can get something and I don't have to dead head all the way back home, right? We got to get paid to drive home if possible. So I'm like, all right, cool, man. Um, and once he said that, I'm like, damn, I'm like, I am trying to go home though. Mind you, I ain't trying to spend another night in LA. I already spent one night out there. I've been out for three and a half weeks. Like I'm trying to go home. So once he told me that load was picking up today and, go, and you know, getting dropped off in the morning, I'm like, man, I could hit the house tonight, you know, lay him on bed, all the stuff, do everything I need to do. And I can get up in the morning and just drop this load off in the city at 10 a.m. at the Warriors Stadium. So I'm like, man, cool. Like, fuck it, man. Forget it. I'm about to I'm about to pick this one up. So, uh, man, I had to run it on my Facebook dispatcher. I'm like, yeah, bro. My check engine light done slid on, bro. I got I to gotta see what's going on with my van, man. You know, sometimes you got to BS them how they BS you straight up. I'm going to just keep it all the way 100. Um, so, man, I get that situated. I get him knocked out the way. I pick up the load, and we finally are on the way, man. Um, but it was crazy, though, man. From them bidding on loads, the same loads, just everything, man. I was sitting in L.A., probably for a good eight hours man almost seven hours i say before i got up out of there at 4 p.m with this load so we did it y'all uh from the leaving from the bay with a load going all the way to minnesota to running around all down south to everywhere man just and we finally catching a load home man and sometimes you gotta wait it out man sometimes you gotta thug it out and i kept telling myself man i'm just ready to drive home deadhead from la you know back to the house from la some just kept telling me, man, like, nah, bro, just you got you got to make this full trip worth it. You know what I mean? So, man, we thugged it out, we waited it out, we held on, and we got us one, man. So back to the bay we go with some money, and I got extra bread because I told them I had to help pull it on my truck, which I did. You feel me? Like, is there two uh two equipment boxes? So pretty much I did have to pull it kind of off the forklift once he got it onto the truck and I kind of had to, you know, I had to handle it, man. So we got us some extra money for that. Y'all don't play yourself out with that. If you touch that load, man, make sure you, you let somebody know and you get uh, compensated for that most definitely. But yeah, man, we back to the bay. Let's go, baby. Pay. All right, y'all. Let's get it. Let's go.